In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at working with images and monochrome bitmaps in CorelDRAW to get photorealistic looks with just a few colors. And this bald eagle design is just two colors on the print. The objective here is to use images that don't have a lot of color. In this case, if you're going to print on a black, you want a dark color or dark black background that you convert to a black background so that you'll have the transparency from the black that you can invert and use with color and then use the dark color of the shirt as the dark color in the print, therefore reducing the number of colors in the print, but at the same time being able to provide to your clients something that's totally different than vector and something that you can do very easily and very quickly in CorelDRAW and then print very easily from a standpoint of screen printing, directed garment, etc. Using less inks, for example, if you're working with directed garment. The objective here really is to use images that do not have a lot of color in most cases and will work well for duotone color design. That's really what we're working with here. And also to use dark shirt colors for the dark or black in the image to create photorealistic designs and prints with nice effects and reduced colors printing. Now here I have an eagle image. Now I got this eagle image from a website by the name of Pixabay and here they have free public domain images and they've got millions of them covering a very wide variety of topics that you can download and use for free commercially and here's the eagle that I'm using in this tutorial and you can create an account and download a high resolution version of that image and then import that into your draw and use it. And there's many of these sites out there now. They're growing very rapidly. So you can get into designing like this without getting the expense of paying for or buying stock images to work with. Now, if you're doing retail or high-end commercial work, you can buy from the stock sites and get the extended licenses that you can use for printing for like up to 500,000 pieces or 50,000 pieces, etc. Just watch your licenses. So this was a free one, and you can go to this website and download these and start working with them and experimenting with them, working in CorelDRAW with the Color Factory. Now the first thing I do after I download an image like this is I want to analyze the image. So I'm going to zoom into the image and I'm going to analyze that. I'm going to look at this and see, now down here I want this to be black, but it's not black. So whenever I look at color, when I'm working in graphic design, I'm looking at, I can see this is not all pure black, it's 13, 13. 13, then you come down in here, it gets into 17, etc. And I want to bring this into a 0, 0, 0, like you can see here, pure black. So when I convert it, it's completely transparent when I invert it. You can see the same thing here. And I might want to bring that down a bit also. So my objective is going to be to take this and do some adjustments to it so it'll work for the printing that I want to do. And then go ahead and convert that into an inverted color duotone with my color factory from advancedtshirts.com in CorelDRAW. So here's my image, and here's the t-shirt. Now I'm going to take a look at this, and you can see, once again, as I was showing you before with the eyedropper, you can see that's not pure black. So there's a couple of ways that you can do that. The easy way is to go to Effects, Adjust, and then go to Sample Target Balance. And that'll bring that up. And then come over here to this eyedropper, which is for the black, this is for the gray, and that's for the white. I'm going to go to the black, get the eyedropper for that, come over down into here. You can see that color change. Then I can go ahead and click on the eyedropper again, and in my preview I can zoom in and see if I'm getting to a black. And it looks like I'm getting to a black. So I'm going to select OK there, and you can see the change, but that's going to work just fine. I'm going to go back to my eyedropper again, and is everything zero, zero, zero? As I go through here, I can see that everything is pure black. So it's going to be perfect for the inverted color duotone from the Color Factory. So I'll bring this over here and duplicate that. Really shouldn't have to do that. I'll delete that. I don't need this image anyway. Once I've got this set up, I'm going to open up my Color Factory. In this tutorial, we'll be working with the duotone with color invert. And what that's going to do it's going to take my image, invert it, pull all of the color and convert that to red. Then it's going to pull the white from the invert and keep that as a white so we can put that on the dark colored t-shirts 
she used the darkness of the color t-shirts for the black so we won't have a black we'll just have white and color from the invert so we can print with just two colors but yet get photographic quality in our design and print so with that selected i'll just click on that and that'll process It'll take just a minute to go through the conversion. And once that's done, you'll see this red here. But there's actually two objects there. If you lasso across that, you see that you have two objects. Because you don't see the white because it's against the white background in the Corel Draw workspace. But if we bring this over on top of the shirt and release it, we can see that. Then we can zoom in and we can click off and click on. And we can see we have a red outline for that monochrome. And we we'll want to change that. So we'll go with our color docker. Usually the color docker will be all tucked in here in the docker panel here on the right hand side. And if you don't see that, you can go to window, you can go to dockers, and then come down to color, and that'll bring that up. Now, color is my active tab. So I'm going to go to my color tab, left click, hold down, pull that out. I can bring that out into my workspace. Now that just disappeared on me, and sometimes it'll happen if you're right on the line here when you pull it out. So I'm going to go back to Window, Dockers, and Color. And I'm going to bring that again, but I'm going to bring it out further this time. See, right about here. There we go. Now we've got, and I come up here, left click, hold down, and I can resize that. Now that's going to let me work with the color interactively in a live way because I have that locked. If this is not locked, then I'm not going to be able to work with the color interactively. I want that to be locked. I want it to be on outline. Then I want to go here to show color viewers. Now I'm just going to slide from the red up into the golden yellow and you can see the effect. And that's my Eagle photographic and the black is the color of the t-shirt. Now at this point I'm going to crop this because I don't want it to be so big so I'll just left click hold down and I'll bring this down and crop it down in size a little bit. Just double click and crop that. Now I'm going to go ahead and lasso and select both of these. I only had one selected, so I'm going to crop again. Made a mistake there. Crop that again. Bring this right down with both of them selected. I had only the color monochrome selected there. Now I've got that done. Now I'm going to group these, and I don't want this hard edge around the shirt. I want that nice and soft. So I'm going to go to my transparency tool, which is interactive. I'm going to go to the fountain transparency, and then I'm going to go to rectangle. Now you can see that. I'm going to zoom in, pushing in on my center mouse wheel. I'm going to come here over towards the edge, and I'm going to double click and put another transparency point. And that transparency, I'm going to go back and make that zero. Now you can see I've got that nice soft edge all around the outside of my graphic. I might want to bring that out even a little more. Now if I want to, I can take this now and change or rotate it. And you can see that, right? And move it. I'll come here to the center square, left click, and bring that up so that I'm getting to the bottom of the eagle as well. Now you can see I've got a nice soft edge going down around here in my monochrome. And I'll be able to work with that very well. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and resize this a little bit and bring this up. And I might want to make some adjustment to the bottom of that transparency. So I'm going to go back to that and I'm going to bring this down in size a little bit. And then I'll move that up. Do the same thing here. So I don't have so much of the eagle down here at the bottom. Just making adjustments to that. The next thing I can do is just get my text. Once I've got that, I can bring that down here. Double click, replace that there, resize that. Over the eagle there, I've got the bald eagle. And then I can lasso, get this USA text and bring this in down here at the bottom and make that whatever size I want that to be. And then just simply reposition my design on the shirt like I'd like to have it. And I can zoom in there and take a look and bring this over here and just move that a bit. And there's my design. So very quickly and easily, just in a matter of minutes in Corel Draw. Now from here, if I'm working with a client, I can delete this because I won't need that anymore. I can go and duplicate this a couple of times, you know. I could take this and 
left click, hold down, and hit my space bar. And every time I do, I'll click create a duplicate. You can see that happen there. I hit my space bar twice. So I'll create a couple of different versions of this. Select everything, left click, hold, move, come over here, hit my space bar. That'll duplicate that. Or I can left click, hold down, right click one time and duplicate. But that space bar will create duplicates. Once that's done, and I'll collapse this, and this will become thin here, and then you can uncollapse it by clicking on the tab. But let's say we want to go with a dark blue. I can come over here, left click, hold down, scroll through my color palette on the left, pulling back on my center mouse wheel, come down into the darker blues, let's say storm blue. I want to make sure I've got just the monochrome selected, which I do. That's storm blue, and you can see that color. And that'll work very nice. I could come over here. Let's say I wanted to go into something like a brown. Come up here into the browns. Left click on a brown. You can see I'm using the brown instead of the black, getting a really nice effect. Being able to create really nice photographic designs, working with just a few colors. Being able to work with images and present options to my clients that perhaps my competitors can't. And a level of design that perhaps my competitors can't with much fewer colors and much better designs. I mean, photographic really takes you outside of the world of vector, but that's how I'd work with creating a design like this, very easy to do. Working with the color factory and the inverted duotone with color, playing off the color of the shirt for the dark or the black in the image. Something that really hasn't been available to us in the apparel industry previously. But now we can do these things very easily in CorelDRAW with a very limited number of colors. So what we've done is we've really opened up a whole new arena of design options that we can use to present graphics and different looks to our clients and still work with a very limited number of colors. So if you're working with a limited press, four or six colors, you can print like this. If you're printing on direct to garment, you can print with less ink more economical, more profitable, working with the monochromes. A number of benefits that we have working with these images and creating designs like this and still getting very nice and excellent photographic looks. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.